What we're going to try to prove in this video is something called De Morgan's Law. And it's that scary little expression over there. But we'll make sense of it in just a bit. Okay, so the first thing we have to consider is the concept of a set. A set could be anything, a collection of numbers or that blue blob over there. A subset within a set, here it's A1, is a little element within that set. And its complement, written as a C, is everything but A1. Okay? And we can apply the same logic to other sets. We can have some set A2, as in the green. Now this is a subset within this bigger set, in the blue. And its complement is everything but A2. Okay? Pretty simple so far. But now let's make it a little more complicated and put the two sets together. We have A1 and A2, and we see that there is an overlap between them. And this overlap is called their intersection, and is denoted by that weird-looking N over there. N is for intersection. We can also talk about the union between A1 and A2, which is denoted as a U, and represents the collection of them together. Now we have all the tools that we need to actually prove this statement over here in the top left. How we're going to do this is first by working on the right-hand side of the equation. We can see from the right-hand side that it's a big union from n equals 1 to infinity, right? But let's forget about this for now, and let's forget about the parentheses. We're just looking at this union, okay? And this union is the union of a1 complement with a2 complement and so on and so forth. But we only have two sets, so we're just going to look at the union between a1 complement and a2 complement, all right? First things first, we need to find a1 complement. And the way we did this previously is we isolated A1 and we found everything but A1. So that's A1 complement, if you remember. Now we do the same procedure for A2. We isolate A2 and we find everything that is not A2. So let's take that and put it on the right. And now, since we have A1 complement and A2 complement, we're going to take the union of the two together. And if you notice when this is going back and forth, that the white regions, the complements, they actually overlap almost everywhere. But look between the yellow lines, and look when it moves. They do not overlap in the middle area over there. You see the black region where they move up and down? They do not overlap there. And that region is exactly the intersection between A1 and A2. So we found that there is one region specifically where A1 complement and A2 complement do not overlap. And that is exactly the intersection. So when we take the complement of the left-hand side, which is the region where they do not overlap, this actually becomes the intersection. So in fact, our job is already done. We've proved De Morgan's law for the case of two subsets, A1 and A2. And we've done so in a nice geometric way. Another thing that we can do is generalize this to the case of three sets, to the case of four sets, to the case of a thousand sets. And you'll notice that the same thing applies. And in the case as the number of sets goes to infinity, we have the full statement of De Morgan's Law, as you see here. This has applications to probability theory, measure theory, and a lot of other things. So I hope you enjoyed.